I'm Robert Vincent for BurbankandBeyond.com, and we're at the corner of Buena Vista and Van Owen at the railroad tracks, where a woman made a right-hand turn onto the tracks thinking it was a street. Her car then got stuck, and be- as the train was coming, she hopped out of the car, was not injured, and the car was. One. I'm here with Sergeant Robert Casada. Could you tell us what's going on here, sir? Well, about 30 minutes ago, we had a uh, accident with the Metrolink train. What happened was uh, the female driver accidentally made a right turn onto the train tracks, uh, thinking it was a street. Uh, she then got stuck, uh, couldn't reverse. She then got out of the car when she saw the Metrolink coming. Uh, the Metrolink then struck the vehicle uh, landing where it is right now. There's no injuries. Uh, she's okay. She was the only one in the car. Uh, right now, uh, from what we hear, uh, there's no injuries on the Metrolink train, but right now that's just the only preliminary what we're hearing. And is the NTSB going to be here? or? Uh, yeah, anything like this, uh, NTSB will be notified. Uh, also, the fire department is here. They were also just making sure that there's no injuries. Uh, we also have uh, the police department traffic taking a traffic accident uh, report. So, so far we have it all under control and... Uh, you know, the area is so there was safe. only one female in the car, there was no passengers? No passengers. Uh, she is impaired or anything like that. We checked her out, so she's, uh, she's okay. She's just shook up from being you know, right. involved in accident, which is understandable. What uh, estimated time do you sit for cleanup or traffic again? Oh, by the time uh, the fire department does their investigation and the police department, traffic department do their uh, investigation, we're probably at least looking at least an hour and a half, at least. Fortunately, no one was injured with a driver error. These things do happen from time to time. Traffic should be opened up shortly. I'm Robert Vincent for BirdBankAndBeyond.com.